I call it a false uh, equivalence, right, with uh, settler colonialism in North America. I mean, here we freely admit that, yes, um, you know, many of us, our, our ancestors came from England and from Ireland and other places, and we displaced Indigenous peoples. And, you know, we're, we're working on reconciliation, and we get that. Now, Israel, a completely different story. I mean, you know, I, I stood in front of the Western Wall, which was one point part of the foundation of Herod's Temple, you know, built you know, 516 BCE. And, you know, this is a Jewish temple. And, and on its ruins, on, on the ruins of the second King Solomon temple is, is built the Al-Aqsa Mosque. So you think to yourself, well, how do you build on top of someone else's temple and now turn around and call them settlers and, and you know, and, and parrot this narrative? So Israelis, I think, struggle with, um, with understanding how people here buy that. And it used to be that, you know, these people would come out and protest and, and gradually they started inserting the the genocidal slogan you know from the river to the sea and let's you know that means eradicate jews from the jordan river to the sea right it's there's no ifs ands or buts about it it is a slogan that means let's clear this land of jews and now they've gone a step further and some of the most recent protests and the videos out there to prove it they're saying we are hamas you know we are hamas we'll do it again we'll do it again we'll do it a thousand times you know, until we eradicate the Jews. So this used to be something that was untenable, that our society wouldn't tolerate them saying. And somehow we've allowed this to be normalized, where we have people in our streets smashing windows of synagogues just today um, and and calling for the, the complete and utter destruction of, of Jews in their land. And that, you know, the last time we saw that was in the late 1930s, and we saw how that turned out.